Costochondritis is a condition that can cause sharp rib pain. Costochondritis is an inflammation of the cartilage connecting your ribs to your breastbone, also known as your sternum. The area where the sternum meets a rib is known as the costosternal joint. Costochondritis is the most common cause of chest pain originating in the chest wall. It can be especially frightening because the pain resembles the pain of a heart attack. Causes of costochondritis. Not all costochondritis cases have a clear cause, but sometimes it's relatively easy to figure out. The most common cause is injury from a hard blow of some kind. Lifting, pushing, or pulling something that's too heavy is also a possible cause. Fibromyalgia is another possibility. Fibromyalgia is a condition that causes pain and tenderness in various areas of the body. The upper part of the breastbone is one of these. Fibromyalgia causes pain that feels similar to arthritis. Sometimes an infection develops in the costosternal joint. An upper respiratory infection that produces sneezing or a cough may also be a cause. Symptoms. Pain is generally specific to the areas where the ribs meet the breastbone. Most of the time the pain is sharp, although some costochondritis sufferers report an aching or gnawing type of pain. For some reason the pain often happens on the left side of the breastbone, but it can occur on either side. When you have costochondritis, you'll probably feel pain just from breathing. Coughing or sneezing can be especially uncomfortable. As mentioned above, people often think they're having a heart attack when they first experience costochondritis. But angina, or chest pain associated with a heart attack, tends to be more widespread across the chest. Angina also feels as if it's coming from inside your chest. Costochondritis discomfort occurs more toward the outside where the ribs meet the breastbone. Costochondritis pain also remains constant. Angina grows more intense with activity. However, if your chest hurts, you're better being safe and seeking medical attention right away. Let the doctors figure out if your pain is caused by costochondritis or angina. Treatment. Very often, costochondritis needs no treatment. The body heals itself in a few days. However, there have been cases where rib pain from costochondritis continued for several months. You will probably want to ease your pain until the condition heals. Doctors generally recommend NSAIDs, which are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. If pain is keeping you awake at night, your doctor may prescribe a type of medicine called tricyclic antidepressants. He or she may also prescribe muscle relaxants, which should help ease your discomfort. While you're healing, you should also try to rest. A heating pad may give you some relief. Take it easy and don't push your recovery. There's little you or your doctor can actually do except let the healing process take place in its own good time. Costochondritis is a condition that can cause sharp rib pain in the area of the upper torso. This pain occurs when the costosternal joint, which is the cartilage connecting your ribs to your breastbone or sternum, becomes inflamed. Costochondritis is one of the most common causes of chest pain. It's often mistaken for angina, the pain that's related to heart problems, especially heart attacks. Costochondritis is often the result of a direct blow to the chest. Lifting or pushing something that's too heavy is another possible cause. So is prolonged sneezing or coughing due to a severe upper respiratory infection. You can usually tell the difference between costochondritis and angina in the following ways. Costochondritis pain occurs only in the area where the ribs meet the breastbone. Although this pain can be sharp and intense like angina, it might also feel like a dull ache. Angina often comes on quickly and gets worse with activity. Costochondritis discomfort tends to be more level and consistent no matter what you're doing. Pain from costochondritis can occur on either side, but often happens on the left side of the breastbone. Reasons for this are not clear. Angina also feels as if it's coming from inside your chest. Costochondritis discomfort occurs closer to the surface where the ribs meet the breastbone. Costochondritis pain can be especially sharp if you cough or sneeze suddenly. Sometimes just taking a deep breath can cause real discomfort. As for getting relief, costochondritis often needs no treatment, just time for the inflammation in the costosternal joints to heal. Typically, it only takes a few days, but some recorded cases have stretched out for several months.
Resting with a heating pad on your chest is a good idea. Relax as much as you can and don't try to speed up your recovery. There are certain muscle relaxants and medications your doctor can prescribe that will help. It's always best to play it safe and talk to a doctor if you're feeling any kind of pain or discomfort in your chest. I have other videos that provide additional information on pain caused by costochondritis. Click on the links below to take a look at them. If you're experiencing any kind of pain or discomfort in the chest area, you should of course talk to your doctor right away. It could be angina, which as you probably know, is chest pain caused by heart problems. But sometimes chest pain comes from a condition called costochondritis, which can make you very uncomfortable, but is not as dangerous as angina. It's easy to mistake costochondritis for angina because the pain occurs in the same area of the upper torso, but there are some differences that are recognizable. Costochondritis pain comes from an inflammation of the cartilage connecting your ribs to your sternum or breastbone. It often results from a direct blow to the chest like the kind you get in certain sports activity or in a car accident. If you've been doing some physical activity that requires lifting or pushing heavy objects, you're also a candidate for costochondritis. Anyone who suffers an upper respiratory infection coughs and sneezes a lot, which can strain the cartilage connections between the ribs and the breastbone. These connections are known, by the way, as costosternal joints. If you have a condition called fibromyalgia, you may develop costochondritis. Fibromyalgia causes pain that feels similar to arthritis. There are some ways to differ differentiate between angina and costochondritis. Costochondritis hurts in the specific areas where the ribs meet the breastbone. Angina is usually more widespread across the chest. Angina also feels as if it's coming from inside your chest. And angina grows more intense with activity. Costochondritis pain remains constant. The discomfort level of costochondritis pain varies. It may just be a dull but constant ache, but it may also be sharp, intense, and distressing. For unknown reasons, costochondritis pain tends to occur on the left side of the breastbone, but it can occur on either side. Once again, if you're experiencing any kind of pain in the upper chest, it's best to play it safe and see a medical professional right away. Let your doctors figure out if your pain is caused by costochondritis or angina. I have other videos that provide additional information on pain caused by costochondritis. Click on the links below to take a look at them. Costochondritis is an inflammation of the cartilage connecting your ribs to your breastbone, known as your sternum, that can cause sharp rib pain. If you don't know why this pain is occurring, it can be frightening because costochondritis causes discomfort that can easily be mistaken for heart trouble. Here are some symptoms that will help you know if you have costochondritis. Pain tends to be specific to the areas of the chest where the ribs meet the sternum. Usually this pain is fairly sharp, but in less serious cases you might only feel an aching type of discomfort. Discomfort can occur on either side, but for reasons that remain unclear, the pain often shows up on the left side of the sternum. Angina, or chest pain associated with a heart attack, tends to be more widespread across the chest. Angina also feels as if it's coming from inside your chest. Costochondritis happens on the surface and is more concentrated. Furthermore, costochondritis pain stays constant and consistent. Angina tends to get worse with activity. People who have some kind of upper respiratory infection can get costochondritis because they sneeze and cough a lot. Once you have costochondritis, even the simple act of breathing can be painful. Costochondritis, by the way, is the most common cause of chest pain originating in the chest wall. If you're experiencing any kind of pain or discomfort in the upper torso, of course it's best to consult your doctor sooner rather than later. I have several other videos that go into additional detail about costochondritis. Click on the links below to watch them.